Right. I think sadly, time is never on our side yes. on these platforms. But this, we could argue that this whole coupet nut is the is the traditional divide and rule, splinter groups making deals. And, but we don't have the time and the yeah. wherewithal. But we do have the time to respond to the question. The president blinked first when members of parliament wanted more money. They didn't accept what was on the table to begin with. It has <laughs> taken a, comp a long time uh, standing uh, down the teachers. So it it's is all right record. as long as it's all right as long as you yes. you, uh, you politicians yes. are getting lots of money. It is in record, but and you I'll are the you. only people who have the right to do that. It is in get record. More money. We made noise. We dramatised, but the president said no. And it said if no, but the yes, money was given to you in it the has very not sort been of given. underground subterfuge. It has not been given. It, 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 I wish I came with my pay slip. I'll show you. We're actually getting the five hundred thousand minus tax, which is around two hundred thousand. That is what the MPs are getting. We are actually being taxed. The president came in, and if you listen to him when he was opening the parliament, he said, we have a huge weight bill. As a, as a country would wish, as your president, I would wish you get whatever you're asking for. But it's not possible. He actually called us and said, you know, guys, whatever you're fighting for, I will not support you. I'll never support you. He went on public and said the same thing. It came to happen, and we kept quiet. We've been working. We stayed without salaries. Right. For the teachers, for information, the government has given that commitment of commuter allowance. They are also employing 10,000 teachers, which is around 3.6 billion. There's also th uh, 600 million that teachers have been given, and that money is for their promotion. Right. The teachers have also been given yeah. readers' allowance up to 15,000, special allowance 10,000. So what do you mean when you say the government right. has not listened I, I, to the teachers? As I said earlier, I'm, I'm interested yes. in your rejoinders and, and, and our viewers can make up their own minds. So there's yes. still quite a few to go. Oh. Uh, one of them being security. Uh, there's still people sort of in places like Western Kenya, oh. people mysteriously being maimed uh, for no good reason, as if there's some kind of plot to destabilize that region of the country and the government's not dealing with insecurity. It's not that the government is already Similarly dealing, actually, with our, our border area with Ethiopia, mm -hmm. all the far flung, they can't cope with it. I would say... Um, and, the, and the police are busy having uh, feuds amongst themselves as to who should be <laughs> boss and who should be employing. These are um, great successes. I don't feel safe walking out We we, we might not avoid the side shows because this is, it's allowed. And uh, we're we in, in a country where people are democratic. But let us also look at the issue of uh, uh, political. And, you know, even the whole of the, the teachers' saga has turned to be very political. The government has actually added 12 billion in the budget of security to make sure that we beef up security in the country. The government has been committed. You've seen them acting very fast, but who is in charge of security? It starts with me and you. It starts with me and you. When we are looking at our villages, we are the people who can report to the government and tell them this is what is happening. You know, there was the issue of the politicians even being involved, which is very sad. So let us not just find, and I normally ask the question, who is the government? His Excellency the President and his deputy cannot be at every corner, but they are, have representatives in those corners. So let us also look at the structure. We found right. a structure, and the government found a structure right. that they are working with. So within 100 days, we didn't have a cabinet secretary. Now we have one. We didn't have a principal secretary. Now we have one. So things are flowing, and I will say there has been a lot and right. a lot of effort. Right. And just John, one, you one, should feel just, safe right. just that the one, government just is concerned about the security. Because I, I surely, by rights, I should allow you to enumerate the things that, that you think are successes. Yes. So may I go in for one last criticism? The tyranny of numbers, Mount Kenya, Central Kenya, Western Luos versus Luyas versus Kikuyus, this whole tribal ethnic thing, and Central Kenyans wrapped it up. And everybody else <laughs> has got to shut up for the next five years. I don't think so. I think the kind of the Jubilee government we have actually, again, want to congratulate His Excellency the President for the partnership they came in even before the elections and the Jubilee. And, you know, we even now have Jubilee affiliate parties. So it's no longer a Mount Kenya or a Lift River or a Western. We have actually, look at Jimmy Aguane. He is he, one, one of the guys who came in and were being given positions from the affiliate parties in Parliament. The government has actually tried to be an all-inclusive government. Look at even the way we have shared the positions in Parliament. It's not just from one side. Look at the way the president have actually, and I, I, like, even, I like to look at uh, like somebody like Principal Secretary of Education, who is Suda. Suda, Suda was even vying with ODM for a position as a senator, but now she's about, by the same government. So 
what are you talking about the government being from one side or oh, the tyranny of number and i'll say where maybe that came from is because we are the majority it's also good for this country to appreciate that now we've moved from the parliamentary and now we're in a presidential system and now when you're in the presidential system we don't know how to have opposition in parliament we have the majority and we have the minority Right. And okay. so what happens if there's something that is going to be voted in parliament, of course, you know what happens, but there are issues, basically, it doesn't matter which, which side you are, but we look at issues that are affecting Kenyans and for the benefit of all Kenyans. Right. Before I ask you the last question, which is at the bo back of my mind, yes. I'm going to give you some time uh -huh. to enumerate what you presume to be the successes that we could list off on your own. And I, I'll keep quiet. Oh, yes. Um, I, I want to start with the successes. And of course, the, the first one was about the maternity. And really, I will say again, women are happy and the men are happy too because this is a family issue. I also want to look at the six billion. You know, the, the, his Excellency, the President had, had, had said, if we do not have a real land, um, um, and if you have a, a one round and we're not going for round two, then this six billion, we're going to give it back to the youth and the women. And already there's a weather plan, which is under the Ministry of Devolution. Sorry, sorry I must interrupt. I'm, getting, I'm not yes. going to stick to the plan. Yes. There seems to be <laughs> tremendous waste in terms of just these billions that it keeps on being mentioned. We can't have that enough money It was a government around. promise. Right. There was money if we were to have, uh, if we were to go for a second round in the elections, we were right. to spend okay. around six billion. Yes. But and the, it, it, the president but said, the kitty it must be the same. The, this, it must be the same. Maybe the six billion has now been derailed. No, 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 no. Right. That's what I was telling you. There's right. already okay. a plan. Point yes. With a framework. Yes. It is called Weso Plan. Right. The, th uh, the money is going to be divided. Three billion goes to the youth and three billion goes to the women. As the pre right. president More promised. Please do continue. Yes. yes. We also have seen our president really fighting the drugs and uh, the issue about the, 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 the barons, the drugs barons we have had in this country. President coming out and even telling Nakada, you guys need to style up. And the president even talking to our young people and saying, kindly do not abuse drugs. So really, that has been a plus plus. We came in parliament. Um, we formed committee. Of course, there was a storming issue, but we have formed committees. We have passed a budget. Now the country is running. We also had the principal secretary, the cabinet secretaries appointed, vetted. They are now in office. We also had the principal secretaries who came in. They are now in office. We have passed several bills in parliament. And I will say, really, um, the government has, has, has worked. Um, we've had um, the allocation of, of the budget. We've seen the farmers being looked at. We, we've seen the road network now being expanded, uh, opening up uh, Mombasa, the Busia, Malaba. Uh, we are opening up. You know, the road, uh, the also the plan for the railway that, that is also coming up. So the government really has done a lot within the first, first hundred days. And right. not forgetting okay. about the education, by the way. Right. We, we must go back to that. As you, you are now the <coughs> chair of the Parliamentary Committee on Education, Science and Technology. Yes. When we last met on this platform, I introduced you as a women's rep. Yes. Now, what's happened in between time and what's your plan for yourself very quickly? <sighs> Well, um, I'm still a women rep, but again, when I came here and we were elected by or voted in by everybody in the county, and this was an affirmative action, uh, a, a position. And so when we went to parliament and we said we are women rep, our speaker said, who told you you came here to represent women? You're members of parliament and you are representing a constituency called a county. So that's how I am now, a member of parliament from Ranga County. Right. Education, science, technology. Education. You know the plan that we have. We are, we are looking at the, 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 the having the, the polytechnics and uh, looking at the polytechnics and actually making sure that now they're working because we have a high dropout from class eight and form four and we really want now to have the skilled labor being looked at. We have the free primary education, uh, free day secondary education and the money has already been, been given. Um, we also having the county universities that the government has actually a plan to make sure that every county at least has a university, which is a plus. Uh, we found a building called Mutihani, Mutihani House that has been under construction for the last 26 years. And my committee has picked it up. We are looking at finishing that building by latest next year. It has been under construction. The, the, the initial plan was for it to spend 250 million. It is now going to around 350, uh, uh, around um, 3 billion. So really, there are things that we have said we have to speed up and make sure that the country uh, goes on. What about women and, and the youth? We have plans for the women. I've told you about the plan. We're also working closely with Women Fund and Youth Fund to make sure that we look at the youth and we also look at, uh, at the women and make sure that this country, the promises that the government made to this country are actually actualized and then we maintain peace and we live as one. 
Sabina Wanjiru Chege, MP for Moranga County. Thank you very much for coming on the JSA. Asante.